official languages the following report of the Canadian Delegation to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Parliamentary Assembly, respecting its participation at the 22nd Winter Meeting in Vienna, Austria, from February 23rd to 24th, 2023. Notices of motions, préavis de motion. Notices of inquiries, préavis d'interpellation. Dépôt de pétition, tabling of petitions. Question period, période de questions. Sénateur Platt. Government leader, the Trudeau government told Canadians they would somehow find $15 billion in savings this year, despite not once following through on their other promises to find savings. In fact, the Trudeau government did just what Canadians have come to expect from them. They spent even more money, and they spent it on consultants. KMG was given a contract worth just under $670,000 to tell the Trudeau government how to spend less money on, hear this, on consultants. Unbelievable. This would be a joke if it didn't involve so much of hard-earned taxpayers' dollars. Leader, I know you don't like to hear it, but every day Prime Minister Trudeau shows Canadians that he's not worth the cost. How does your government possibly justify this waste? Senator Gold. <coughs> Well, thank you for your question. Uh, look, the government is uh, managing the economy in a prudent and responsible way. Indeed, uh, I, uh, without having the figures at hand, I do believe the evidence shows that, in fact, government spending is down. I would not assume that the use of outside experts to advise the government is a, a necessarily a waste, and I have every expectation that uh, the government will continue to find ways in which uh, to reduce spending and to use uh, its own resources and outside resources in the most responsible way possible. Senator Plett. The Prime Minister is not worth the cost. He has no common sense, and he thinks he can outsource leadership. One thing he is good at, though, is taking care of his friends. In 2016, Liberal MPs voted to shut down a committee study into a tax evasion scheme involving KPMG around the same time that a KPMG executive was named treasurer for the Liberal Party. What a coincidence. Leader, why is it always Liberal insiders who get ahead under this government while Canadians struggle to get by? Senator Gold. <clears throat> well, thank you for your question and, and for adding to the insinuations of wrongdoing that you make uh, with no uh, evidence or justification whatsoever. The government stands by its practices to manage the economy and its affairs in an honest and uh, uh, in an honest uh, way for the benefit of Canadians. Senator Marshall. Yes, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. My question is also for Senator Gold. Senator Gold, last month the Auditor General of Canada released two reports on government's aging information technology systems. Here are some of the things that she said. She said only 38% of government's 7,500 information technology applications are considered healthy. She said work has not proceeded for 65% of approximately 4,500 applications earmarked for modernization. Departments and agencies are maintaining old and outdated IT applications and relying on old and outdated in IT infrastructure. Personnel with knowledge of and expertise on outdated and unsupported technology is diminishing. Some systems no longer have vendor support. And there is no strategy or plan to modernize these old IT systems.